My name's Alex Chesa, I'm 22 years old. I'm from Fredericton or Mukto area, and I drive a 2014 Genesis Coupe. I got into cars through a little kid. I definitely stick to my dad. He was very into it and would work on his own cars. He had a prelude back in the day, he'd kind of tell me about it, which is pretty sweet, but I think really was just was an early introduction to like movies. Like you ever seen Cars 1, that scene with all like the hot rods on the highway? I was like, man, this is like the rightiest thing. I was like, I just, little me just loved it. And I just want to be that someday, you know? I've had a friend when I was in high school, he bought like a, a Mustang. It was a V6 one, but I mean, and people knock, you know, obviously hated on him for that reason. But, you know, that's kind of like my first introduction to us, like people my age owning cars, and we just drove that every day at lunch. And I was like, it had like the subwoofer in it. It was, it was really cool, but it was, I would think that was like the best thing ever. And, I, and then that kind of persuaded me to want to do something like that in the future and own something that I like, you know, because he loved it. I kind of, I liked seeing him that he loved something and not just some car that maybe his parents got him or something like that. So, but I think that would, that would be it, I'd say. Well, I've only really been in the car scene the last year, so I may have not seen how it was previously, as I'm kind of was all new, because I just got my Genesis October of 2021, so I didn't really get to this summer, because most people had their cars in storage when I got mine. So when I really introduced, I did like that people would like, you know, it, you realize that it's people's life. And, and you know, that was like their passions. And it was cool to see everyone with a lot of passions together. I didn't find there wasn't too much like ego or stuff. Like it was very welcoming. I mean, maybe it would've been different if I had, you know, like a different car that was quote unquote regular traffic. But I mean, people were pretty, it was cool. And like I was very intimidated initially. Like that was kind of my one fear of getting into it was people, you know, would be very ego, but I felt pretty accepted in very quick. And I do like that it's like kind of like clicks and there's a lot of friends and you can pretty much go anywhere, like maybe the Frex any night and you'll see people there. So I just showed up with, what did I tag along with? I think Gage when he had his Genesis, he kind of showed up and they all, they all showed up after us pulled up. I was like, man, I can look at these guys. Like these cars are way better than mine. And just, you know, after just slowly kind of getting in talking to them, you know, I, I, I talk to a good amount of them on a regular basis through like social media or just if I ever run into them. But I'd say other than that, it'd be, it was cool that I've, I've met people that now would call friends through just a parking lot, you know, but for a modded car, I'd say would probably be the Genesis. I wouldn't count Plasti Dip as a mod, which I've done to, I had a Kia Forte Coupe before that. I've done simple stuff, but nothing I would say would be modified or anything. Like it was just, you know, blacked out badges or badges removed or just super simple Canadian tire type things. But the Genesis, I, I would fold out like exhaust, coils, wheels, tune, etc. Like things like under the hood, which I didn't do in the other car. So I'd say this would be the first one, is I think it's more of a, a build per se. I love it because I think I just, I think I love everything through like my surroundings and experience. Like I was driving, I think from Fredericton to Rockdo, and I saw one that was modified on the on-ramp. It was a gray one. And I just saw that and went, whoa, what is that? Like I just thought the side profile, I just had a great body design. I didn't know what car it was at first. I didn't know cars that well. I went in and I was like, I want that. And I think I just kind of was like a small manifestation over the last couple of years to look around and actually get one. And I'm, I can't say I have any regrets pulling the trigger and buying it because I've been just, it was either if I bought one, didn't buy one now, I would have probably bought one sometime in the future. So 
glad I did it, you know, as soon as I could. Yeah. When I first got it, I just didn't really, it was like maybe, I could say maybe the fastest car I drove, so like, I wouldn't say much there, not the fastest cars, but to me it was, I just like how, just blowing away. But, but also related to that, I'd say it would be maybe just, no, I'm gonna, my actual one, I'd say my favorite memory with this car, I'd say it would be my dad. Like, we kind of had a bit of differences, but me getting this car, it kind of brought us together because through his car passion, it kind of brought us together. Like, when I work my car, he, he like offers and he wants help out with. And I think just seeing him like take an interest in something I like, because he had that with my brother with sports, but I didn't really have that because I wasn't into sports as much as him. So I didn't really have that kind of connection. So it was cool to like bond with, I guess you'd say your father over something. So it's cool to see him like take an interest in my vehicle and you know, he sees my passion and he, you know, he likes it. And I think that's, that's awesome, you know?